Now, okay, for our final um, problem for this session, ang bilis ko ngayon, in a helpful mood, Steve pushes a second stalled car with a steady force of of this quantity. I don't know, bakit nawala siya? This force here. Etong force ito yung given. The displacement of the car, oh, ano naman yun? The displacement of the car is S vector given by this quantity here. The question now is, how much work does Steve do in this case? So, ayan. So, F dot S ang gagawin. So again, ano yung definition ng, um, ng break? It's just the dot product of F and S. So, so they'll find the break W and that break is just F dot S. Now, again, ang given ngayon ay unit vectors I hat and J hat. Naka-express ang force at saka displacement vector in terms of the I hat and J hat components. So paano mo gagawin ngayon? Yan. Anong gagawin mo? Anong gagawin ulit? Pag-samahin ng pare-pareho. Nice. So I like your answer. Pag-samahin ng pare-pareho. You multiply this one and this one. You multiply this one and this one. And then you add them. Okay. I like your answer. <laughs> so work is x component of force multiplied by the x component of displacement plus the y component of the force multiplied by the y component of the displacement. And from that, multiply mo lang itong magka-column na to, 160 and 14. And then you add them with minus 40. Huwag kakalimutan yung negative sign there. I have a negative 40 and 11. And when you do that, ang lalabas ay 1.8 times 10 to the 3 joules. Or about 1.8 kilojoules. Okay? Questions? So, ganun lang. Again, it's still, again, plug and play. Pag definition ng number cube, ginagawa. Okay? May questions ba tayo rito sa topic na ta? None. None. Okay.